I guess we're going to old. They got it. They got us. They got it. Must be ten years. Suitcase for sale inside here. He broke it. There we go. Fixed. That's a great start to this. <laughs> Fixed. Oh, fast, here we come. Today, National Gummy Bear Day. Right there, that's what it is. That's really cool. I have no idea so where we are. So we're in Elkin, North Carolina. We just left our Airbnb. Maybe we locked the door. We're, we're going to work our way back by maybe getting some coffee and a sandwich or something and get in there and finish setting up our booth in order to see Merle Fest day one. Um, I'm expecting 1.7 million people to come into the booth today. We've got guitars. We've got many guitars. We have uh, small ones, big ones, some medium sized. It's going to be great. Um, we got some banjos and some mandolins. Come point out your favorite guitar here. All right. Show me it. My favorite guitar here. Still, each always be it. Well, I know I have three favorites right now. Three favorites. This just came in. Got this aromatic uh, uh, Honduran rosewood. Thompson. I love this square shoulder. Yeah, wherever it is. This one, square shoulder Padel and this Adkin pre war 37. Those are my favorites. So this Adkin, this Padel, and this Thompson. That's the ones. Day two, Jeremy, Merle Fest. Day two of Merle Fest is starting off with a nice breakfast here. At the, uh, the Sponsored by Hardee's. How's your biscuit? Good biscuit. A hearty biscuit. Hardy. A hearty, hearty yeah, biscuit. Hardy, hearty har har. All right, so we got less rain today. So far, it is sunny outside. That's the first time we've seen the sun since we've been here. And it's not going to last until about 1 o'clock when the clouds come rolling Mine in. says now 3 o'clock. Push it. Oh, yeah. So we got back to the Airbnb and apparently a tornado came through the area and we have been without power since about five o'clock tonight. Luckily we weren't here till 8 o'clock, but now it's almost midnight and we still have no power. So we're going to go to bed and assess the damage in the daylight tomorrow. But uh, twice now we've been in North Carolina, back in IBMA, we had a hurricane come through, lost power at our Airbnb, now we've got a tornado. So something about Air, uh, North Carolina and our Airbnbs that we just can't keep electricity. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I guess we've got two more days of Merle Fest. And hopefully we'll have electricity. Well, the biggest problem we got this morning, we ain't got no power. That's like 24 hours, no power. Yeah. It looks like a tornado went right through here. Took the tree off, top off that tree right there and that there. And there's a tree down over there on the power. It's the most uh, post-storm interview you're going to get right there. <laughs>
took my turlet, put it out in the woods over there. Broken trees. Broken trees. This was spooky. It's been a few days since we got back from Merlefest. And boy are my arms tired. That doesn't no. even apply. Okay, anyway, no, we're gonna wrap up, up, talk about our favorite things that happened, what we thought was great. I'd like to talk great. about a few of my favorite things. You uh, can like, start. Uh, Thunderstorms and kittens and warm satin Whiskers mittens. on mittens. Anyway, yes, Merlefest was a lot of fun. Uh, it rained a lot this year, which we've already covered that in detail. Yeah. But uh, I think that did bring down a little bit of the fun atmosphere there, unless you like playing in the mud. Um, but they still put on a great festival. We got to meet a lot of great uh, people, mm -hmm. people we hadn't met before. It was fun. We had a bunch that would like wave at us from across the thing. We're like, who are they waving at? And they go, I know you from YouTube. So that was a lot You're of fun. You're that guy, aren't you? Anyway. Uh, my favorite things for the festival, my highlights, uh, Marcus King band. I knew that was going to be really my good. highlight going into it because I'm a big fan. And uh, he did not disappoint. The Indian food was incredibly good. Um, I ate that multiple delicious. times. Uh, they had a hot dog stand that was pretty good, but not like the Indian food. What else? <laughs> I like that that's your highlight. Uh, for me, Marcus King and food. I had a blast. Uh, here's the deal. Merle Fest was probably the most accessible spot for uh, musicians uh, and the fans that could get together. We got to hang out with a lot of the musicians uh, that were hanging out there. We got to meet a lot of musicians that were just coming in to be at the booth and play music mm -hmm. and check out instruments. And we sold a lot of stuff too. I thought it was really cool because Merlefest allows so much access to so much music, so much people, so much different types of people, and cool things. There was just Those things. The last everywhere. two were many. Mm -hmm. So many people, so many types of just wanted to encourage. You know, probably my highlight of the whole weekend though is having Sam Bush come up to me and say, Hey, could he you show me how to play this mandolin? It's like holding this, like, could you show me how to play this thing? Did not do yeah. it. I was like, okay, he Sam. Oh yeah, I hope you're a big highlighter. Now that you brought that up and it was fake, I'll make up my own. No, Del McCurry was awesome. Great Del 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 in, Creek. in his mid eighties, just killing it. It was, yeah, I, I, I was that was my highlight. Was standing out to the side of the stage, seeing two of my heroes that I haven't got to see in a long time, Sam Bush Band, and seeing uh, Del McCurry especially, uh, and like I said, just killing it. So. And one last thing we have to mention: post Nam going over to the Kruger Brothers. Uh, their post big old Merle studio Fest. there, post Merle Fest. Both. Yes. We saw it. Going after. It was after NAM, and then after Merle Fest, we went over to the Kruger Brothers studio yeah. and filmed a whole day with Jens Kruger and hung out with uh, Uve. Uve, and it was just a, that was like the highlight to end the whole trip. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those are our, our highlights for this, this year, 2023's NAM, or, <laughs> See, it's so YouTube. that's our highlights uh, from the 2023 <laughs> Merle Fest. It was a great time. We're going to be back. It was super fun for us and a great event you need to join us again awesome. next year uh, next year yeah